Wait, what? Damien uploaded a video? This is impossible. This must be a deep fake and it probably is. So what is this video about? It's about stereoscopic images, but not any stereo, uh, stereoscopic images. It's about these 90s styled magic eye effects. So all the kids born beyond 2000 probably never heard of this technology, but it's basically a 3D image inside of a diffuse pattern. And if you look like this, you see a 3D model, which is really cool. So, so I used to have these books as a kid and I saw these 3D models and then I was like, okay, before I don't upload any videos, no burnout video, no cool fun tutorials, I might as well just push this one in between. So yeah. That's why I made this video. So today you're gonna to learn how to create those images in Blender, not completely in Blender. We're gonna use a generator. So in Blender, we're only gonna generate a Z pass or a depth pass or a mist path or a whatever path uh, pass you wanna call it. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into Blender if this topic is interesting to you. So let's go. Okay, so first we're gonna look at my beautifully animated wallpaper. Then we're gonna hop over to Chrome and to YouTube. No, not really to YouTube. We're gonna go to Gum Road by Muval. We will download the latest top high-end products such as the famous car avatar. We're gonna put in the amount that we'd like to pay as usual and put in your credit card information and give it all. Once you do that, click view content and there you have it you can download it so there you have it of course you can use any model but i'm just going to use this so once in blender i will use this model and create a depth map so we're going to open up the uv editor as well as the shader editor with s so we're just going to delete the texture we don't need a texture for the stereoscopic image also we're going to delete the second material so really just a model i'm going to go to material preview it already is on default we're going to add a gradient texture actually we're going to use a emission shader just like this and hook up the gradient we will use um uvs is probably easiest in this case and also don't forget to turn off filmic we're going to use standard so we have an actual white um, we're going to press Control t with the node wrangler enabled if not you can also just create these nodes by hand we're going to use the uvs as mentioned and now with one on numpad no three on numpad we're going to create some uvs you see there's some light map uvs or whatever uvs we don't need that so you project from view in balance so we're just going to have this beautiful boy and now we have this but actually i think we have to flip it so sx minus one now the front is white and the back is black also i'm going to actually scale this down a little bit and push it to the front or no actually the other way around like this so it's only half of the face that's 3d because we don't really need the back side so if we go to the front like this we tweak it a little bit so the ears are not black actually have the nose tip here maybe with shift right click add the cursor here dot 2d cursor and now we can scale it from this point and you can also turn down the mesh here so just so we've got a full range from white to black just like this even though i'm thinking Maybe it's even better only to use my face. Now let's see, let's do like this, just like this. Next, we're gonna create a camera. Turn on your stuff again, go out of edit mode. Camera, Alt R, Alt G, R, X, 90, G, Y, just move it back by hand. <laughs> just like this, um, we will use a square image, probably 512 by two is 1024 i'm really bad at math as you can see that's why i do it the lazy way uh, we're gonna do it like this move the camera just like this so i'm gonna render in cycles so render see what happens um on default my background is transparent so go to film turn off transparent or actually it's not black okay let's do it like this um render then we're gonna hop over into the compositor in that time click use nodes oh not keyframe nodes use nodes and now we're going to use the alpha over node alpha over node 
and swap it to the bottom and make it black like the night. So there you have it. This is called a Z pass, a mist pass, a whatever you want to call it. There's lots of ways you could make this and call this, but I thought this was a good way. This was the first way that came up to my head. Click it to the desktop, call it Z passage. I don't know, I just came up with this beautiful word. And next we're gonna need a pattern. So I'm just gonna take a phone picture of, um, I don't know, I guess my table. So here is the image that I just took with my phone. It's beautiful, I know. Um, and here's the Z pass. So now we're gonna go to a web page. I tried to find out ways to kind of do it without a web page, but I think web page is just the easiest. So just use this link from the description. Uh, but you can also Google and find your own little ways to do it. There's lots of ways. You can even use GIMP in a little script. I didn't really find a way to do it in Photoshop for some reason, but yeah, whatever. So upload your mask. Oh, go to upload your own. Um, click Datei auswählen and click your Z-Pass. Go to pattern, click. Oh, you can use a pattern here, I guess, but we're going to use our beautiful pattern. Uh, click upload this beautiful pattern and then click stereo, your stereogrammage, complicated word. Save this boy to your desktop or wherever. Click it, open it, and look at this beautiful. Now just make your eyes beautiful. And then you can see that beautiful. Wait, I don't got it. Wait, where is it? Oh, yes, I see the beautiful. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, there it is, the beautiful. I think the beautiful is flipped. I'm looking right into the beautiful's brain. But I do see the nose, I do see the eyes, I do see the ear. Actually, this worked really well. And yes, I did not practice this tutorial. This was my first time myself. So this worked out well. That's it for today and goodbye, my brother.